The AI image generation scene is crazy right now. You've probably heard of Midjourney, DALI 2, but yeah, these can be expensive. So what if I told you there is a free tool that offers you high quality image generation? Yes, it's true. It's called Picklumen, and Picklumen not only offers you free image generation, but it also uses Flux Model. I'm sure you've heard of Flux Model before, this one can be really, really realistic, and it offers you text as well. So let's just see what it can do. And of course, we're going to talk about some ways in which you can make money with this by yourself. And no, I'm not going to sell you any course. I'm not affiliating for them. There are no links down there. Let's just go and play with it. So to start, just go over to Picklumen. You can just Google for it like this. So it is Picklumen. It's going to be the first result, picklumen.com. When you land here, click on this button, generate for free. Then you can use Google or your Apple account or just your email address to create an account. And this is where you will land. First of all, you will see all the images that other people created. You can explore and you can see that some of these are just good, right? Have a look at this. This is really realistic, right? I just love this one. And also you can see how simple the prompt is here. So. It is in Spanish or whatever, but it is three words, right? And you get this. So it's really, really good. You are free to explore it though and see all of the beautiful images that people created. But if you want to create something yourself, you have to click on this button here, which is entitled Create. When you click on Create, this is where you will land. Now, this is the place for prompt. So you just have to describe your image. This button here, is for image reference. This is used if you want your image to resemble something else. For example, you've got an image on your computer and you want something based on that. Or for example, like it says here, you can use it for character reference, right? It preserves facial consistency. So for example, if you wanna make a model yourself and you wanna post pictures on Instagram, you just wanna make digital AI model for yourself, this is what you're gonna use. So that's about it. This button here is where you select the model. Now for me, this is the most important one because you choose the models here. As I've told you, it uses Flux. It is by far the best one, right? I don't care what people say, this is by far the best model we have in AI world right now. And I suggest that you use it. But of course, you can always use Picklumen art. And if you wanna create some cartoonish things, use Pony, right? Pony is really good and i'll just show you both of these we're going to create something with this but let's just start with flux i'll click on flux here you choose the aspect ratio so for example if you want to make an instagram post you're going to choose this one by one there's more of these of course you can use 9 by 16 if you want to do it elsewhere and of course here you choose the number of images now you can only create two at once you have to upgrade if you want to use three or four but this is more than enough, right? Two images at a time, it's gonna be more than enough for anybody. So when you make the prompt, you're just gonna select the model, the aspect ratio, and the number of images, and then you're just gonna click on this button here. If you wanna delve deeper, this is the button for it. It's called Advanced Settings, and you've got Guidance Scale, which is gonna control how strongly your prompt will influence this image. I suggest keeping this at five at first, and then you've got steps, and steps will determine how many steps is gonna be used to create this picture. More steps can lead to more detailed images, but it's gonna take more time. Seed here is very important, because when, for example, you generate one image and you like the style of it, the next time you create, you can just copy and paste the seed number, and you're gonna get something that resembles the past creation, right? So it's important. Negative prompt here, you probably know what it means. You can just put the things that you don't want to see in the image. That's why it's called the negative, right? But let's leave these advanced settings for now. Let's just create something here. Let's just use like this. A puppy is standing on the street, right? And remember, we're using flux model, so it is gonna be realistic. So a puppy is standing on the street. I click on this button, and then we just wait a bit. It is fast though, right? It's not like long creation time and I love it. And here it is. This is our puppy standing on the street. 
I like both, right? This one, let me just click on it. It's good. It's realistic. Let me just close this one. This one, even better, right? So it's a good thing. I like this leaf here, right? This is such a good detail. And of course, you see the likes, right? A lot of the times, most of the AI models, most of these AI tools, they mess up the likes. So it is four likes, just like it should be right on a puppy. Now, there is a lot of things you can do with generated images. And if you click on these three dots, you can remove the background of it. You can play with it with kind of like Photoshop editing and you can upscale the image only if you upgrade it, right? So this is for upgrade only. But this one is totally good for, let's just say, Instagram, because resolution is good, right? It is 1024 by 1024, and it's more than enough. Let's make something else. Let's just go with long road between the mountains, right? So let's just go. In. I'll just do it real time now, so for you to see how long does it take, and it's really fast. The puppy generation was fast. And as you can see, the long road was fast as well. And both of these are good once again. It's a good, we have a house here. On the first one, we don't have a house. So it's a good thing. So let's just create something with this cartoonish model here because I'll, I'll use the same prompt as this one. So let's just copy this one, paste it here, and let's just see the cartoon model. And here it is. This is our puppy on the street and it's watercolor, right? So it looks good. Honestly, it looks good. So how about we make some money with this? Before I go, this is not a get rich quick scheme and this is not something that'll make you rich overnight. Something like that doesn't exist. But if these people on Instagram can do it, and let me just show you what you think, what I think, you can do it as well. So here are some quotes, right? You've seen it online. There's a lot of people they're just posting quotes and they do it with a clean background and text over it. Some of these, as you can see, 1 million followers on this one, some of these are doing it like this. So it's just a road and it's just a quote over it. And there's a lot of pictures like this. So it's just some animals and some pictures over it. So what I did, I used that image that we've created before. Actually, I created another one. And then I just used Canva to put a quote over it, right? So that's it. That's what anybody can do. Alternatively, you can use Fiverr. You can freelance with us. And as you can see, this person sells Flux images for $50 each. It requires work. It requires dedication, especially if you want to make yourself a theme page on Instagram. But it is doable, right? All that these people are doing, they're just consistent, right? They just put a post, for example, or maybe three posts per day. And that's it, right? If you do it constantly over a longer period of time, you can be successful with it and you don't need to have 1 million followers. You can have 5,000 followers and have a good side income for yourself. And you can freelance on the side as well. So it is possible, but it is going to depend on you. But hey, you've got a free tool. So all you got to do is to work for it. So if you love it, if you have some interest in it, if you have some passion for it, it's going to be easy for you. So wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.